In this video, we're going to take a look at two different ways we can simplify the complex fraction 2 thirds minus 1 fourth over 5 sixths plus 1 half. If we looked at this as an order of operations problem, we would have to simplify the entire numerator and denominator first before we worried about reducing the larger fraction. To do this, we need a common denominator on the, in the, in the numerator. Let's do that. Common denominator here appears to be 12 between 3 and 4. So we'll multiply 3 by 4, top and bottom, and the 4 by 3, top and bottom. This gives us 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. Over in the denominator, we see the common denominator here between 6 and 2 is 6, so we simply have to multiply the second fraction by 3. This gives us 5 sixths plus 3 sixths. Now we're ready to combine the numerators and denominators together. 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is 5 twelfths over 5 sixths plus 3 sixths is 8 sixths. Now we're ready to try and reduce this fraction. Recall that the division bar, I'm sorry, the fraction bar really means division, so we're really saying 5 twelfths divided by 8 sixths. And we know to divide fractions, we simply multiply by the reciprocal, giving us 5 twelfths times 6 over 8. We can then multiply these by first reducing the 6 over 12, leaving a 2 in the denominator, and we get our final solution of 5 over 2 times 8, which is 16. This method works just fine for simplifying a complex or compound fraction. However, it's quite cumbersome, and there's lots of room to make arithmetic errors along the way. This is why we have a second, more preferred method. Let me clear out all this extra garbage. Our second, more preferred method is to identify the least common denominator of every single little fraction in this expression. The least common denominator of 3, 4, 6, and 2 is 12. What we will do is multiply the numerator of each and every term by this common denominator of 12. We'll multiply the 2 times 12, the 1 by 12, the 5 by 12, and the 1 by 12. What we're really doing is distributing through 12 over 12, and each 12 is really 12 over 1, which is why we're only multiplying the numerators. Doing this will allow the 12s to reduce with each of the denominators. 12 over 3 reduces to 4. We now have 4 times 2, which is 8. 12 over 4 reduces to 3. We now have minus 1 times 3, or 3. Over 12 over 6 reduces to 2. We now have 2 times 5, or 10, plus 12 over 2 reduces to 6. 1 times 6 is 6. We now have a simple addition and subtraction problem. 8 minus 3 is 5, 10 plus 6 is 16, and we see we get the same final solution of 5 sixteenths. However, we got there in a much more efficient manner, with less room for arithmetic errors. This is probably going to be our preferred method for simplifying complex or compound fractions. We simply can identify the least common denominator of the entire expression, and multiply the numerator of each term by that LCD, which will allow all the smaller denominators to divide out, giving us a simple expression we can evaluate or simplify.